Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Moon Man C2 fountain pen. This is another fountain pen by Moon Man. Um, I've reviewed three of the, or two of their other pens. This is the third, and um, I picked it up because I really like their other offerings, and I want to see what else they had. Um, so this is like their other pens, eyedropper and uh, cartridge converter, just a simple, pretty cheap pen. These are about 15 bucks or so. Um, and we'll go ahead and get into what I like about it when I'm a bit more neutral towards and what I don't like. But first, we'll go ahead and jump into some size comparisons. Here it is next to some other entry-level fountain pens. So at the bottom we have the C2, then the Twisby Go, Faber-Castell Loom, and the Lamy LX, all stars, Safari, all the same size. Um, you can see it's a little bit shorter than all of these. It's, it's very, very close to the Faber-Castell Loom. It may actually be the same size. Um, but definitely shorter than the Twisby Go and the Lamy LX when capped. Alright, go ahead and bring these up nib to nib. And you can see here, again, it's very, very close to the faber Castell Loom. Let me move that back just a bit. Keeps wanting to turn. But yeah, it's, it's very, very close in length to the faber Castell Loom. Again, if you have one of those, this is going to be right around that same uh, size, at least lengthwise, lengthwise opened and closed. Um, shorter than the Twisby Go for sure, and shorter than the Lamy. So it's kind of a, a small, medium-sized pen. It's it's not super duper tiny. It's not unusable by any means, um, but posting it actually does help. So let's take a look at that. So here it is posted next to the other pens, still unposted. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's very close in length to all of these when they're unposted. Um, this pen posts very, very deeply, and it brings it up to being just a tiny bit longer than the uh, Lamy LX there. So if you're looking for something about that size, posting this will certainly work. All right, on to what I like about it. So first up, um, I just mentioned the posting. We're going to talk about that again. I love how deep this pen posts because when I hold it normally, um, it's a little bit short, as you can see for me. Um, however, when it is posted, it is a much, much more usable, much more comfortable length for me. I can go back a little in the grip section if I want to without the pen sliding down past my hand. Um, it's just a much more usable length overall uh, for me. Or if you have larger hands, it might work for you better that way. Um, it's, again, certainly not unusable, unposted. It's just very, very small. Next up, the nib and flow. Um, this nib is very, very pretty. Sorry, it's going to be a little bit of a pain to focus. I need to get a macro lens here. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous nib. I love the scroll work on it. It's it's awesome. And this gold just really pops with this kind of lavender purple. Um, it writes really well. I've had no skips. It is very, very fine. Um, if you're looking for that, this will work. There's a bit of feedback, of course, that you're going to get with super fine nibs. However, there's no uh, grittiness. It's not... Um, it's not unpleasant to write with by any means. It just feels like a well-tuned, fine nib. Um, and the flow is, again, perfect. I've had no skips with this at all. It's it's not super wet, um, but it's kind of like an average, like um, medium flow, I would suppose. It's it's consistent. No issues on any of the paper that I've tried it with. Um, it's, it's just a really, really good nib overall, which is not always what you're getting at this price point. Next up, the weight and balance. Um, so this pen is it's very light, but with that um, eyedropper, <laughs> all that ink in there, um, it does help the weight a little bit, and it's balanced right in the middle. If you actually, if I can get it to see here. It's basically balanced right in the middle of the body. And when you uh, post that, it does throw it off a bit, but it keep, kind of keeps it in the center of when it's posted. So it, it they, they balance this pen really, really well. I'm assuming that was intentional, but it's it's awesome. Uh, posted, I, I love, love writing with this pen, and even when it's not posted, it still feels good. Um, the build quality is excellent on here. It doesn't feel cheap. It It's not quite up to like a, a super, super high-end plastic like on, on some of Twisby's higher-end offerings, but it feels much, much better than the Twisby Go for sure. Um, probably right around the, uh, the same build quality as the Twisby Eco. If you are uh, if you have one of those, pretty similar. Um, it's a fairly durable feeling plastic. You're not going to worry about cracking, really. Uh, fit and finish are pretty good on here. Uh, there's no real areas where they could mess that up too bad. Um, but there's no sharp corners or anything like that. They they did really good. The threads are nice and, and kind of blocky up here towards the front of the section. It, it's, a, it's a great, great design, and they built it really, really well. A few of the things I like about the design, if you notice, it transitions from kind of uh, clear see-through 
finishes to something like a bit more of a smoky finish. And it kind of does that little throughout. There's there's these little, they're actually threads that do spiral at an angle. Um, there's these internal threads for whatever reason. Um, I believe it acts as kind of like an agitator for the for the ink. But it's just a cool little design touch. It's 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 awesome. Um, and they kind of mirror the clear section here with the clear section there. It's it's just a, a really cohesive design. Design wise, I love this pen. Really really awesome. Packaging on it is uh, is pretty nice too. So you get the standard kind of Moon Man um, smoky plastic kind of uh, box. Um, you get a little bit of instruction information here, a little bit of bubble wrap, and you get an eyedropper. And that eyedropper is for filling the pen. Um, there's a little ring to help seal out, although you could certainly use some silicone grease as well if you're paranoid about it. But you get all this with the pen. It's all included. Um, and it's... It's really nice to be getting a pen this cheap with, with uh, that good of packaging. Speaking of it being cheap, the price on this is really, really good. It's a, it's under $15. I think I picked this one up for about 12 or 13 And for that price, it's an excellent, excellent pen. It's it's wonderful if you're looking for something um, with a little bit of flair at that entry level, but you don't want anything super gaudy, super outrageous. This is, this is a little bit fancier than your Metropolitans, than your Lamy's. Um, it's just it's something a little different and it comes in at a really really good price point The ink capacity is also really really good. Obviously you can eyedropper fill this Probably about a mil and a half two milliliters. It's it's a decent capacity. They definitely could have pulled it back a little bit more with that But I don't mind actually because I mentioned like I said it it kind of mirrors that front part So that's that's fine with me. I'm I'm okay with them giving up a little bit of that space because it's not really going to bother me anyway. This pen holds a ton of ink. And you can, of course, use a converter or a cartridge with it as well. Although it doesn't come with one, so keep that in mind. The branding on here is also really nice. The only branding they have, apart from uh, on the nib, which I showed earlier, you can kind of see there. It does say Moon Man Super Quality, which is <laughs> super quality. That's kind of eh. But you know what? It's fine. Actually, I might take this off just to show you see if I can get it to capture my camera here. So if you look right here at the cat band, you can see all it says is Moon Man. That's the only branding you get. It's very, very subtle. It doesn't mess with the design at all. And it 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 just fits. It's it's nice. It doesn't take your eyes away from anything, but it's there, you know what brand it is. And it's kind of raised as well, so it adds a little bit of an interesting texture when you're um when you're unscrewing the pen, you can kind of feel that on the cap there. Let's go ahead and move on to um, what I'm neutral towards on this pen. Uh, only a few things here. Uh, first up, the size. It's a little bit short. Just for me, it's it's not a big issue, but if you have larger hands, it's not going to work super, super well. Um, it's not as bad as like a like a Quebec Lilliput or anything like that, but it's, it's a little bit small. Again, if you have tinier hands, it's, it's not going to be a big deal for you. Next up, there's no clip. I don't really care, just thought I would mention it. Uh, there's no form of roll stop either, so if you set this pen here, it's it's gonna roll. You know, it's, it's not a big deal, for sure. It doesn't really bother me. Um, just set your pen down like this and it won't roll. It's pretty pretty easy there. But yeah, there's no clip there, so if that bothers you, this, this may be a, a bit of a deal breaker, although that'd be a little silly in my opinion, but it's completely up to you. And last thing here, sometimes you may have noticed this, um, when you're going to cap the pen, because of how these threads are, are machined, it sometimes can take a second for them to lock in. Like now they're, they're good, but when you, it's just, I don't know, it's it's weird. Um, if you come in an angle or something like that, it's, it's a little off. It, it's it's strange. The first, the first time you do it, or at least the first time for me, and I also had my wife try it and she had the same issue, it's, it's a little weird. After you've done it a while, you kind of get used to it. It may just be because the threads are right there on the front, and I'm not really used to that all that often. It could be just a slightly different capping method. Um, I've gotten used to it a bit over time. It doesn't really bother me anymore, but it's it's present. It might take up a, a second or two of your day. It's not a big deal. All right, on to what I dislike on the pen. One thing here, and I, I really don't like it all that much, it's the section on this pen. Um, it's already really narrow, and it kind of has that... It's hard for you to see there. It kind of dips in to a little concave there. There's also a massive step down here. 
just slopes and it does it's not a kind of a natural slope if, if it had done that i'd probably be okay with it but it's it's a massive step down and then that curve it just makes it a little awkward for my hands um if you have smaller fingers it may work just fine for you but it's it's not comfortable at all for me riding with this pin long term i i can't stand it let's go ahead and go on to the riding sample all right on to the riding sample it has been a minute since i've done these i'm sorry about taking so long with I can get the ink flowing here. Sorry about taking it so long with these pen reviews. I have been absolutely swamped with other stuff. However, they should be coming back. Um, I believe this is a fine nib. And you've seen an influx of knife reviews. That's just because those are a lot quicker, a lot easier for me to make. And this is a Twisby purple ink that I'm forgetting the name of right now. I'm really excited that Twisby put out their own ink. I bought the set and I will be doing a review of those soon as well just to kind of get back into the ink reviews. Um, I've used about three of them so far. I have three more to go so we'll, we should have that coming up soon. But yeah, A lot more pen reviews should be coming. I have a lot in the backlog I've got to do. Just They just take you know an hour or so each just to just to do the recording and the script and everything like that and then do the editing. And Anyway, um, as you can see, no real flow issues. There's a little bit at the start just because I've been uncapping it and recapping it for 20 minutes. But um, no flow issues at all. Now, there's not really any flex. It's a very, very st stiff nib. You can get a little bit of extra ink coming out, but that's about it. Um, it's it's super stiff, but again, it's, it's smooth. You know, there's no real issues with it writing. And overall, it performs really, really well. So in conclusion, do I recommend this pen? Yes, I, I do. Um, if you're looking for something in this, in this price range and you like the design of this, pick it up. They have it in a bunch of different colors for you. Um, and there's other pens by Moon Man as well that I've tried. They're all fantastic. I have reviews of those that you can check out. But this pen is it's reliable. It works well. I've had no real gripes with it apart from this section, which is purely subjective, um, at least for me. The step down isn't sharp or anything. It's just too much of a of a slope from from here to here it just feels uncomfortable other than that though it's it's an excellent excellent pen so if you've been looking at these you're kind of on the fence about it pick it up all right and if you have any questions about this or anything else just leave them down in the comments and uh thanks for watching guys have a good day bye